Hey Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for November 2022. I hope you guys are all doing great out there. Welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Now in today's reading, Aquarius, I'm gonna be pulling a nine card spread, see who comes through for you romantically in the month of November, find out how they truly feel about you, what their true intentions are, what their next actions are gonna be, if there's any hidden agendas, and then I'll pull an advice card for you. Now if there's someone on your mind right now that you're in no contact with, I will pull a hidden message at the end of the read to find out what they secretly wish to say to you if you guys were to be communicating again. So let's begin. I've already pre-shuffled, just gonna Give it a couple more goes. Spirit, please connect me to Aquarius today, November 2022, in love. Whether Aquarius is single and meeting new people this month or if they are in a situation that might be a bit complicated. Aquarius is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today, as long as these messages are for their highest and greatest good. Nine card spread. Aquarius, love, November 2022. Whoa, Nelly, did you see how that card just flew out um the hanged man okay when i look at this card aquarius it it shows me this masculine energy could be a chick there's no genders in my readings shows me this masculine energy waiting by their phone what they're waiting for i don't know whether they're waiting on you to answer their text message or to pick up the phone or they're debating on sending you a message Regardless, there's this person just waiting around, not making any moves just yet, okay? But they're thinking about you a lot. We'll see if that card comes back out, okay? I like to break the deck first before I pull out my cards. Two more shuffles. One and two. Some of you guys could be connecting to a Pisces. Let's rock this deck for my amazing Aquarians. First card out is the Emperor, Major Arcana for Aries. Next card out is the Seven of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy. Next card out is the King of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. The Strength card, Major for Leo. The Three of Swords, Libra Energy. The Three of Pentacles, Earth Energy. The Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Justice, major for Libra. And the Six of Cups. Overall energy on the bottom, the Ace of Cups. The Three of Wands and the Hanged Man is here. So, Aquarius, the message I'm getting strongly is you've got this person coming through in the month of November that is going to be like, it's just, you're going to really like them. You're going to really like them a lot, okay? This could be someone brand new that you're about to meet for the first time with that Ace of Cups, Three of Wands, or you already started talking to this person and things are looking good. But, 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 there is... A person here that hurt you that's wanting to make peace with you okay you see how your body language in this middle card shows you very hurt frustrated disappointed and this this masculine energy there are no genders in my reading so just assume the role this masculine energy is like baby please I'm sorry I won't do that again. Just turn around and look at me. And this ma this feminine energy is like, no, you hurt my feelings. I am pissed off. I don't want to look at you. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. And this masculine energy is like, I'm not going to go away. Please just turn around and hear me out. This person hurt you, three of swords. And they're trying to get back into your life with that king of wands energy, right? And with the queen of swords coming in as you and the justice energy, you don't want this person back into your life. I'm strongly feeling like this is an ex that you have cut out with that sword and you sought justice for yourself with the justice card. And this person's coming back around six of cups because they miss you. But you have this emperor energy that is showing up in your read in November. Whether you already know this person and things are going good or you're about to meet this person the moment you let go of this ex, okay? Okay, I'm strongly getting that you have this past person that is trying to come back into your life, but the level of hurt 
you have gone through with this person is just this is something that you're not wanting to return and repeat okay and then you have this masculine energy this emperor energy that is wanting a new beginning with you ace of cups and it's everything you've been waiting for with the three of wands for some this person could be at a distance and you're meeting this person online all right or you already you know there's something going on here this is where you know clarifying is going to help me i'm going to get nosy as heck but i do see this past person really wanting to come back around with that hanged man to the ace of pentacles and they are nervous as shit that you're either going to reject their message or they are, they are going to find out that you blocked them if that's what you did or they're going to see that their message is going you know red but no response okay this is someone coming through that's fearing that they have no more way back into your life again nine of swords all right, because the hanged man, ace of pentacles to the nine of swords is someone that's like, oh shit, is this really over? They're not responding to me. Will they respond if I send a message? You know, but you've got that sword in your hand like, no. I, I Once I pull my sword out, that means I'm done. I cut this out, okay? And this new energy is here and it feels really good. It feels really stable with that emperor energy because the emperor is looking for an empress. The emperor is looking for marriage. The emperor is looking to be a father or a mother because again, we're all masculine and feminine energy, okay? We've got somebody here that is taking you very seriously or they will. They're being guided to you is what it feels like. So let's break it down. Let's break it down. Can I get a card on this King of Wands to the Seven of Pentacles? Can I get a card on this King of Wands to the Seven of Pentacles? Can I get a card on this King of... Oh my freaking goodness. Can't make this shit up. Judgment. And then I got the Two of Cups on the bottom. This King of Wands person, doesn't have to be a fire sign, is wanting a second chance with you, wanting forgiveness with that judgment. Because judgment is the energy of forgiving and learning, uh, going back and giving someone a second chance, it's endings that lead to new beginnings, it's, you know, making peace with somebody, right? Someone wants to make peace with you. And I'm seeing it strongly in this art depiction. I don't know if you saw it closely before. I don't know if this person's getting the, you know, signs that you're moving on and you're meeting somebody new and they're wanting to attempt one last attempt or you haven't spoken to this person in a while and you've almost forgotten about them and it's like you're meeting this person or about to meet this person and then that's when whew, this person comes back in your life. Almost like spirit is testing you, testing you to see if you're going to allow the past to come back in after they've already showed you their true self and true colors right or if you're going to just patiently wait for what is meant for you what is going to bring you the most happiness right spirit will do that when you tell the universe oh i am totally moved on from that person i am over them and then they send you someone that is everything that you could ever want from somebody and then they bring that ex back to see oh yeah aquarius are you really over that person now that i got them back here in your life all right you're going to have to use your better judgment. You're going to have to use your better judgment. Someone, someone's coming back around wanting to be extra generous to you with that Six of Pentacles to the Two of Cups, saying that they are a changed man, changed woman. Okay? They may have been a changed person. They may have been. But this is where you're going to have to use your discernment. And you're a very intelligent zodiac sign. All right? Your zodiac sign represents the, the mantra, I know. Right? You know stuff. You know stuff before other people know stuff. So it's like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Is what you're going to be saying to yourself when this person comes back around wanting to, you know, mend that broken heart. Put a band-aid on it, right? But not actually resolve the underlining issue. Um, look at that, two of cups and the death card. For some of you, this past person may have taken, you know, a couple times walking all over you as it shows me your dying body right here and nine ghost kitties taking their turn doing a macarena on your, your body, right? You feel like this person walks all over you. So can I get a card in that seven of pentacles and then I'm going to move in right to this new person. Why the seven of pentacles, please? Why the seven of pentacles? Why the seven of pentacles? The devil. The proof is in the pudding. Now I want pudding. Seven of Pentacles to the devil. 
this is screaming that this is something that is not good for you. This person is not good for you. It's not saying that they are a bad person overall because the King of Wands in the upright position is a really good person. It's just that you're not good for each other. So I hope I'm making that you know distinction there. The King of Wands is a very loving person. It's a very caring person. But when two people are not good for each other, it's like oil and water. It doesn't mix, right? But you know, with other people, you guys are good. So it's telling me that this person is a karmic soulmate with that devil energy and I just saw the two of cups a moment ago and the judgment. It's a karmic soulmate that you're being guided to release and to learn a valuable lesson from with that judgment card, right? Because you're manifesting a ideal relationship into your life. Whether you already have this special person or this person's coming into your life the moment you really, really let go of that energy, right? The hermit, use your internal compass during this time, Aquarius. So let's clarify the emperor. So as I'm about to clarify the emperor, I have the fool. A lot of Aries energy, but the fool is all about new beginnings. Having that journey of self-discovery, learning more about what you want, what you don't want, what you'll tolerate, what you won't tolerate, and realizing how powerful you are with that magician energy. Your words matter during this time. Your thoughts matter. It creates your reality with that magician. What is this emperor about? The nine of swords wanted to slip out. Some of you guys are really stressing about this person. What is this emperor about? What is this emperor about? Two more shuffles. One and two. Temperance. Temperance is all about divine timing. Temperance is, about, is all about divine guidance. Divine guidance. Right, and you see how you're this cat and you've got that rainbow right by your side. It's telling me that you're coming out of the worst part, right? And the rainbow is here to let you know that your blessings are coming in after the storm, right? After those harsh lessons that you had to learn about yourself and about other people, right? Every connection we ever come in contact with is here to teach us something. Nobody's a waste of time. All right, it's, it's telling me that they want you to look at this situation with this other person and ask yourself what you gained from that experience. What messages, what, what, what did you learn about yourself? What did you, take away the value from it so that way you can get your power back. All right, and then let this person go. Okay, temperance is all about balancing your emotions, being patient with yourself, doing things, you know, in a very like, it, Things can't happen overnight when you've got the temperance card. All right, and then there's the sun on the bottom, major for Leo. So a whole new beginning is connected to that emperor energy if you want it. But I got the hanged man and I got the eight of pentacles. The hanged man to the eight of pentacles is telling me that someone's waiting in the wings wanting to um, come back around. Can I get a card on this three of swords to the queen of swords? I don't know if someone put you in a third party. The Queen of Pentacles. So it's telling me that there was someone that you thought was going to be a stable relationship. You may have been married to this person with that Queen of Pentacles energy, could have had children with this person, Queen of Pentacles, but it just didn't work out. All right, and the Fool clarifying the Three of Swords feels like someone did something foolish. Okay, and it led to a falling out with that Five of Wands to the Six of Pentacles. Okay, can I get a card on the Justice card? Could have been, could have happened during Libra season. Now this justice card shows me a man and a woman in a couples therapy office. All right, and this is the mediator. So some of you Aquarians may want to resolve this issue with this past person. All right, and just when I said that, the six of cups is on the bottom. Some of you guys do want to resolve it with this person, only if they're being serious with their apology. All right, but for other Aquarians, you're, you're feeling like this Emperor energy looks mighty good right now in comparison. What is this Justice card? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, and the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So whomever this person is, they're feeling lonely, they're feeling left out, they're feeling abandoned by you. Whether they're the ones that abandon you first, they're feeling lonely, all right? And you see how this, this cat, picture this your person, your ex person or your past person, this is your person looking in that window of you and this emperor energy cuddling. 
thinking, wow, that could have been my life. That could have been my, my Aquarius in there cuddling me. But no, I'm out here looking at Aquarius cuddling somebody else. And Nine of Pentacles is single. Okay. Can I get a card on that Ace of Cups? So Aquarius, pretty much what I'm getting here is it's up to you. It's up to you. If you want this person back in your life after a period of no communication or the separation or to take door number B. Can I get a card on that Ace of Cups? Can I get a card on that Ace of Cups? The um, Seven of Wands wanted to hop out. Can I get a card on that Seven or the uh, Ace of Cups? Two more shuffles. One, two. Five of Swords. Aquarius, use your discernment. Use your discernment. You're being given an opportunity here. And just when this opportunity comes in, you're gonna be tested. There's someone coming through that is just saying all the right things to get in your life again. They know your vulnerable spots. They know your pressure points. You see that hairless cat right there? He's naked, he's got no fur, and he's being cornered. It's telling me that this past person knows everything to say to get you feeling good again, to look at them with googly eyes. They know how to make you smile. They know how to make you laugh. They know how to make you forgive. They know, they know the right things to say, do, to get you feeling them again, okay? But it's all like taking an opportunity and taking advantage of it. Right? It's like this person's going to do and say whatever to get you back in their life again because they see you moving on. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is unconditional love. Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. Ace of Cups is somebody activating your heart chakra in a be very beautiful way. The Emperor is not a liar. The Emperor is not a cheater. The Emperor is someone that doesn't ghost. The Emperor is someone that after a first date, if he likes you, he's going to ask for a second date within the next few days. The Five of Swords person sends mixed signals. The Five of Swords person just does what they want to do to get what they want in the whole situation, right? The Five of Swords is similar to the Seven of Swords. Anything to get the last word or to get the last say to get what they want in their way, right? Use your discernment, Aquarius. You're being tested. Spirit's really going to test to see if you really are done with that person that hurt you. Now, that's only if the person hurt you. If you've got someone coming back around that you just, you know, haven't talked to in a few, in a few weeks because life got busy, but they didn't actually hurt you in any painful way, yeah, hear what they have to say, all right? But look at this devil to the judgment energy, okay? There's some burdens here with that Ten of Wands. What's the hidden message for the one that Aquarius is in no contact with? I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath. I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It was too painful. Yeah, that's that Queen of Swords. When you piss off the Queen of Swords, she will pull out that sword and say everything that she knows below the belt that will hurt. So you may have said something to them to, you know, even the score with that Three of Swords. I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. And that was this. So Aquarius, I feel like I have a group of Aquarians that have a past person that is actually a really good person that didn't mean to hurt or didn't mean to like, you know, there's something going on where that person may be just genuine and just life got in the way. They are coming back around. But there's another person for some of you Aquarians that actually hurt you like you wouldn't believe where they're trying to apologize and to get back into your life again. And you're being guided to just like turn away. All right, but with that emperor looking here, yeah, that looks pretty good. So some of you guys could be connecting with a Pisces. I have strong Aries in this reading. Leo came in, Scorpio came in, Capricorn, Libra, but it could be any zodiac sign. It's not about the zodiac sign anyway. So I hope this reading helped. If it did, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box. Later, Gators.